how did these jokes possibly make it onto a kid's show? Here you go, your majesty. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 jokes only adults would get in SpongeBob SquarePants. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on those jokes from the children's cartoon that were probably written in more for the parents watching the show than the target audience. Number 10. Blowing Balloons oh, Squidward's not at his post! What do you do to help out your coworker who's fallen asleep on the job? Naturally, you blow up some balloons that you just so happen to have on hand and create a balloon animal likeness of them to take their place. At least that was SpongeBob's bright idea when Squidward was neglecting the cash register. You might not have noticed as a kid just how much the long, transparent balloons in question resemble condoms. Worse still is the image through the kitchen window of the balloons expanding as he blows them up. Huh. There's something missing. Ah! Ah! Number 9. The French Tickler Sandy! She will never reach you. She must first pass through the four floors of fear. Speaking of condoms, SpongeBob and Sandy have a run-in on Karate Island with a villain named The Tickler who just happens to be French. You cannot pass unless you defeat me, the Tickler, and my Iron Finger style! His name in and of itself sounds pretty inappropriate without even knowing that French Tickler is a type of condom designed to enhance the experience of the person, let's say, getting tickled. That reference probably went over the heads of the kids watching. But not to worry, there was also the image of his giant hand tickling devices to scar them for life. I could use a wet map. Number 8. Sorry about the scabies. Oh, my birthday cake! Oh, yeah, that! Okay, they weren't even trying to be subtle with this one. Poor SpongeBob has spread himself too thin, promising to help Mr. Krabs fix his telescope, assist Sandy with a science presentation, and attend Patrick's birthday party and buy the cake. SpongeBob finds himself in a Mrs. Doubtfire kind of situation, running back and forth between the three. He forgets to pick up the cake for Patrick's birthday, and in his last minute search for one, he can only find one with icing that reads, Sorry about the scabies. There's no good way to apologize to someone for transmitting an adult disease. So why not a cake, we guess. I haven't got all night. Yeah, neither do I. Number 7. Here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. <laughs> Adulting is hard. No one knows that more than Squidward tentacles. Spending the rest of his life as a cashier at the Krusty Krab is definitely not what Squidward had planned when he was dreaming of being a famous clarinet player. In this episode, the very literal interpretation of Squidward experiencing the death of his hopes and dreams is definitely intended for adults watching the show. Mr. Krab spots Squidward mourning a grave at the cemetery, and when he goes to take a look, the gravestone reads, Here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. What a baby. Number 6. SpongeBob's Nose I'm down here, sir! The astonishing amount of penis jokes that made it onto this kid's show could warrant a list all their own. Representing them on this list is the time SpongeBob's nose popped up from the ground outside the Krusty Krab. At least, we hope it was his nose. Upon Squidward's request, SpongeBob buries himself in the ground. And when Mr. Krabs comes looking for him, SpongeBob shows himself by shooting the tip of his long nose out from underground. Squidward said I could help by burying myself. The moment passes by pretty quickly, so it might not have even registered on a first watch that SpongeBob's protruding nose resembles another elongated part of the male anatomy. Quit fooling and come on out. I need you to be in the commercial. <laughs> Me? Number five, exchanging money. Well, Patrick, here it is. The palace of pranks. Talk about a prank gone wrong. When SpongeBob and Patrick discover a prank shop, things get a little out of hand. They get their hands on a can of invisibility spray and decide to pull the ultimate prank. The only problem is, the invisibility paint stains clothes. So they strip down to their birthday suits, turn each other invisible, and terrorize the town. Oh, 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 ghost! Ghost! They get their comeuppance when Mr. Krabs catches them with their pants down. <laughs> <laughs> The paint wears off, and they're left standing almost completely nude holding a dollar bill. What's actually a completely innocent moment ends up looking like these two friends exchanging the dollar for some services. Oh, I know not these names of which you speak! Number 4. SpongeBob, Patrick, and Mr. Krabs Panty Raid I guess you're gonna miss the panty raid. 
The what? That's right, a panty raid. Most of the dirty jokes on this show are hidden behind a thin veil, but sometimes they forget the veil entirely. Mr. Krabs spends an underwhelming wild night out with SpongeBob and Patrick in an attempt to reclaim his youth. The night goes from harmless fun to actual criminal behavior when they go on a panty raid. Just in case you're not sure what this means, Mr. Krabs is sure to provide a detailed description. And you're talking about raiding their dressers for their underpants, right? Oh, yeah. They actually break into someone's house by climbing through her window with a ladder. Thankfully, Mr. Krabs gets what he deserves when it turns out it's his mother's house, and she gives him an earful. Go to your room, mister. You're grounded for the rest of the night. Yes, mommy. Number three. Don't drop the doubloons. Now, Gary, we can do this the hard way or the easy way. Or the medium way. Dropping the veil yet again, SpongeBob makes a very obvious prison sex joke in this classic moment. It's bath time, but Gary the Snail doesn't want to get in the tub. So SpongeBob tries to con him by pretending that the bathtub is a treasure chest and the bars of soap are doubloons. Look, doubloons! Don't drop them. We all know what the subtext behind the phrase don't drop the soap means. So when SpongeBob advises Gary with a wink and a smile not to drop the doubloons, there is no masking this very adult reference. Now why don't you just get in the tub? Number two, sailor talk. Oh hey, I think I know what that means. That's one of those sentence enhancers. SpongeBob and Patrick have really done it this time. In their innocent idiocy, the two besties learn some new words from some writing on the dumpster behind the Krusty Krab. Much like children, they don't understand the true meaning of their new vocabulary words, and just think saying them makes them sound cool. Hello, customers! Nice day we're having, huh? That iconic dolphin censorship sound isn't fooling anyone, though. We all know why the town is so antagonized by the boys' sailor talk. Let's go somewhere more family-oriented. At least the boys learn their lesson when Mrs. Krabs finds out and punishes them. That is, before she stubs her toe and unleashes her own expansive vocabulary. Tartar sauce. Yow! My <laughs> foot! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. This is the hardest part of every parent's life, I assume. Despite all we've been through, it was worth it. Yeah. Let's have another. That's it! Patrick, your genius is showing. Where? Sorry, Sandy, I have to uh, 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 go get my haircut. SpongeBob doesn't have hair? Or does he? Number one, SpongeBob watches Sea Anemone. SpongeBob is a pretty excitable guy, but there's only one thing he could have been watching quite this excitedly. While flipping through the channels, SpongeBob stops when he comes across a dancing sea anemone. Something about the way SpongeBob lights up while watching this is the first indicator that the sea anemone might be doing something a little more racy than just dancing. The second indicator is when Gary walks into the room and SpongeBob changes the channel in a panic, claiming he was just looking for the sports channel. Sure, SpongeBob, the sports channel. We believe you. Clearly, SpongeBob was watching sea porn. I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.